Hey, it's time for Pack Hacker, and in this video, we're taking a detailed look at the Bluffworks Bluff Cubes Pro, which I've been testing over the course of the last two weeks. If you want to see more videos like this one, please give it a thumbs up so we can keep helping you find the best gear. Let's dive in. Okay, so this is the Bluffworks Pro. We have the small version here and then the larger version here. The main difference between the Pro and the Sport is this material. So this is a ripstop nylon, but it's brushed and it's a little bit heavier. There's a bit more structure to it than what you'd see with the Sport version, which is just a thinner ripstop nylon. So that's the primary difference. I think these look a little bit better. These are more of like the Bluffworks style with the orange and the gray. Um, but they're gonna be in your suitcase, right? So up to you if that matters or not. Uh, there's Velcro on this thing as well. We have some plastic hardware down here that's been uh, branded with Bluffworks. And then we have a uh, zipper here. And then some like nylon material here. I don't know, it feels kind of like uh, a step up from like what you'd wrap a gift with. So not like super durable feeling, but it's like a handle. So anyway, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. So let's talk about these cubes and how they function. So at the top, I have this one filled. This one's empty, obviously. At the top here, you can see that there is some elasticity that allows you to just, you know, have, a bit, have it a bit closed off on the top. Um, no drawstring, so you can't really pull these down like you would a compression bag, but just adds a little bit of uh, of a narrow opening at the top than, than at the bottom. Um, and then there is mesh on the sides, which is good for breathability. So there's that. And then there's also a zippered opening on this side, which you can access the clothing inside when it's compressed down. Now, to compress it down, you have this orange ribbon here. And it's adjustable by this plastic buckle and then there's a Velcro target where you can pull it around. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. Um, just kind of pull it down. The one thing that was kind of weird while I was using this is you kind of, I mean, the, the stuff like kind of falls into the bottom and then I could fit more clothing in here as you can see, but then I have this top part and it's like, do I fold the top part over? I think so. And this. It's kind of unwieldy to use. So this got, you can see that got caught on the back. Um, when it's empty, it's even more unwieldy to use. But if I pull it down, and then I'm just gonna get rid of this slack here by tightening this, by doubling up that ribbon. Yeah, it's like the Velcro thing is like sticking on stuff. So let me just pull this out. And then you can really pull down and compress it. Now, one of the things with the way that this is designed is it definitely does a pretty good job at compressing down and matching the size of this bundle of clothing. But since this ribbon is right down the middle, you get more compression down the middle and less on the sides. Although you'd still get some on the sides because it's being pulled down. Now, if I grab these sides and pull them, you can see that I'm able to compress it even more. So you're losing a little bit of that compressibility because it's pulling down the middle as opposed to the sides. And when it's down the middle, you get this like divot here. And with that claimed space, you know, I don't really know what you're gonna get with like a bit of a divot here. Um, you know, it doesn't really do a good job of bringing the corners down. Some compression cubes will round down the corners of packing cubes. This just kind of crunches up the fabric. And then for access, when there's this little of clothing inside, I can unzip this and have that flap open up and I can get access to my stuff. And that's pretty cool, I like that. And it's mesh for breathability as well. And it looks like this zipper, um, not sure on the brand of zipper. I can't see YKK anywhere on it. If I check this side over here, um, yeah, not, not entirely sure what the zipper brand is. Might be Zoom, but you know, for packing cube, it's probably okay. This thing ends, ends up busting in your bag. Now. This Velcro target as well is a little bit small. So you kind of have to get it right on the money where you want it to go. And then obviously it can get caught on this mesh 
on the side here too. And then the rips out polyester fabric as well. I like this little detail, right? It's got bluff works across the top. And again, I think this looks good for like a business traveler. I think this has a good look to it. Again, like your mileage may vary whether or not you care because they're gonna be inside of your suitcase for the most time. But if you're going for like an ensemble with all of your luggage kind of looking professional, these are definitely a shout. And this orange color is just very bluff works. Also this handle, I didn't really particularly love just because, I mean, look at it. It's kind of like, uh, you know, bunching up the fabric here. And again, this handle itself, it just doesn't feel that great in the hand. It feels a little on the inexpensive side. Um, and then we have this extra fabric that's just kind of flapped around on the side. Um, so you can kind of tuck that in and, and mitigate it a bit, but there's just a lot of fabric going on. It's kind of like a complex, it's pretty complex cube. But I do, the thing I do like about it is it's a different take. And if you're seeing everything I'm doing here and you're like, that's awesome, this is totally for me, then I think, you know, definitely pick one of these up because there's no other cube that I've seen that's doing this. A lot of them just zip around. Um, so let's take a look at the small one. Like the main difference between the large and the small is there's a handle on this one. And then the small one, there's just a little loop here. So if you want to hang it up or you want to hold it by like one finger, you can do that. And then the basic mechanics are the same. Now, let me just unpack this large one and show you what I have inside. And then we can also pack up this small one. So before we pack it up, I just want to show you what this one looks like empty. I mean, there's just a lot of like flaps going on. And if you have it unzipped too, um, there's really just kind of a lot of fabric that flops around. So it's a bit like unwieldy to manage at first before you pack it up, especially in the large one. But now let's put some clothing into the small version. So I fit everything inside comfortably, except for the two pairs of pants that I left out on this smaller one. So I'll set that off to the side. And then we'll just show you how this works in a similar way. You fold that flap down. When it's a little more full, you can see that I don't have to like fold this down quite as much like I did in the other one. And actually I just know that I'm gonna have to tighten this up a bit. So let me do that now. The adjustment's decent. You can see it's kind of like folding here on the side. So the track isn't exactly perfect, but if I pull that down, bring it around and pull it hard, Velcro it down. Again, you know, we're like seeing that space saved here, but it's not pulling down those sides. So I might actually just have this a little bit more loose. And um, you know, that's probably how I would have this. Again, I think they look nice. I think this side access zipper is really cool. You can flap it open and get access to what you want inside relatively quickly. Um, however, just, you know, keep it in mind, you know, if, if this is looking good to you, definitely take a look. But if you like a standard zipped packing cube a little bit better, you can definitely go that route as well. So there you have it, the Bluff Cubes Pro from Bluffworks. Thank you for keeping it here at Packhacker, your guide to smarter travel, and we will see you in the next video.